Hi again. We are on article next B. Cinnamon. I've just installed everything and I have filmed everything with simple screen recorder. But when I put everything online, um, it was all glitchy and all uh, bad, really. But it was a great video. It was, I think, about 40 minutes of how to uh, tweak everything from A till Z and you see me change everything. Now, I've been trying to Google for how to get rid of these glitches in uh, Cinnamon and I've not found a solution. So if you have uh, the knowledge how to uh, make sure that we record with simple screen recorder on Cinnamon without glitches, please do share. My solution for now is this thing that's down here, Screencastify. And Screencastify is an, uh, an extension that you can install here, up here, as a screen video recorder. So it's going to record everything without glitches. So that's okay if you work with that thing. So I have tweaked everything. Uh, you see everything already in place. Uh, the thing is, I'm going to try to uh, figure out again, and say again, record again what I changed. So first off, I think we had this icon that was not uh, the Article Linux icon. So if you did do this thing here, then you get this cinnamon icon, right? So the menu is normally in when you install it in Arch Linux, it's going to be this kind of icon. If you just slide it over here, I've changed it to Arch Linux B cinnamon, so everybody knows when we take screenshots. Not sure how to change the size of this thing, um, not here anyway, but um, this is all I think I've changed. Then we went up to the menu. This icon is not there, and it's the icon that comes from themes. And I just took this guy. You can take it and put it with your favorites. So I put it up here so that um, I have always a link to the themes because I always change themes around and icons and breeze, snow here and, well, the desktop. So this is the desktop. So we have lots of choices, as you know, and there is a fire icon that is a new icon theme. And we've made also a tutorial about that one. Maybe we can take a look at that as well. So Tunar is installed by because of uh, things like open folder as root is very interesting and ownership to root. There are some kind of also the, the compare, compare folders, etc. There are some things that are very, very interesting that we have on Thunar and that will not have on Nemo. But Nemo is also um, very interesting. So this icon is Thunar, but where is Nemo then? So Nemo is another icon, so we can fix it up here, keep in dock and keep them together. So you know by design already, it's going to be something else. What we've done as well in um, Nemo is and it's gone, it seems, is changed some of the uh, toolbar preferences, or it's not done. Uh, so all these things were not uh, yellow. I don't know what was yellow and what was not yellow anymore, since this is after this recording, this bad recording that was all glitchy. So it's up to you to see what's uh, what new, but I like all these icons here. And particularly, I like this for the search. When I do Sadly, and surf icons, I need to search for visual, visual uh, icons. They show me what it, they look like. Make a folder, and this one is also very neat. Open a terminal in the active folder. Now, this terminal normally gives a GNOME terminal. That's true, Eric. And you go to preferred applications or something like that, preferred applications, and there's a lot of things. So we went over it. We put it right, what is right. You choose whatever you want. But um, it used to be GNOME Terminal. I suppose it's this one. So if you change it, then it's uh, here you can read it, GNOME Terminal. So it's that easy to change if you know where to change it. So I'm going back to my termite to have some transparency. GNOME Terminal does not have transparency, but GNOME Terminal Transpa gives you GNOME Terminal transparency. So if you do want to have, do you want to keep using the GNOME terminal, and then you have transparency if you install that one number one there. 
we were on our way to the file system. Yeah, it's going to be jump a bit. Uh, well, jump is not a word, but you know what I mean. I'm going to tackle topics the way I see them. So we have Safari icon theme, but when you install it, then it's uh, already a little bit OK in the sense that we have Surfen when you install it way back at the end. It's like this. And that's no good, because if icons are missing, it's going to first give you icons from GNOME. And we all know the theme from GNOME. That's, those are, well, not, they're not falling in line with the Sapphire icons. It's not nice, not beautiful. So I've changed in the video, previous video that was so laggy, to Surfing again, and say, OK, let's do it like this. If icons are missing, then go look in surf. And if they are missing, then go in GNOME, etc. As a result, we have also now the hello icons, which was OK already. If you just do Sapphire and nothing else, you'll have an icon. That's no problem, because GNOME doesn't have the icon. So it just looks at surf, the very last thing in the line. But when you uh, put it uh, surfing first, I think it was the icon melt that we used to see that um, this is a surfing icon and not a one from GNOME. So that's how you know. And inherits has been changed for the Sapphire icons. We've also taken a look at the new Sardi icon theme that we've um, created just yesterday. So we have Sadi Arc that we that we had already, but there are other variants for the Arc theme. So Sadi Flexible Arc is new. Yeah, let's just make it all a little bit smaller. Control Scroll, and you have smaller folders. Just this is just enough, I think. And um, this is the look. Then everything should be blue. If it's not, we just fix it. That's advantage of having icons and a distro and the same person and so that's that's that that's how it looks and way back up there's another one i kind of like and at this point in time have on my system yeah i have to change from time to time sadly mono arc so everything mono but then this thing in blue and that's the look how uh, how it looks so we changed to Casablanca because we had a nice wallpaper, alt, n, etc. does not work. So variety is here. So I, I'm guessing it's the previous one. Yeah, it's the previous one. So we went for all yellow look because of these yellow cars in the back in the video that's no longer existing. And this, we've activated that one because it's, it's also yellow. And um, we changed some, some themes around, so we have uh, a yellow look, all the same, not uh, difficult to do that. We've changed this one as well, which was actually quite interesting, but unfortunately that's gone. I mean, all the steps we did to have a conky. Now, I mean, the, the how do, if you if you have now there's something else if you have a config conky that's where our conky is i was experimenting with the conky manager what we have is our files right so we have our conky and this one is this one but this is what i uh, showed you in the video the video that's no more that is if you want to change your the conky and want to write and, and elements and the thing was that this Arch Linux B had dash and then cinnamon and it was all over this logo. I said, look, uh, best thing to do is make a copy. Just say Control C, Control V, and give it your name. Since there is already a, an Eric, I'm gonna make name it best. So, and we've put this Conky Manager this in here, that's true. Just drag it here, Conky, Conky Zen, and it's here. So you see, I've been experimenting with Conky Manager. That's an application you need to install. So here is the Conky Arch Linux Eric, so this guy. 
Let's order order it to for name in, in alphabetically. And here is the Eric, and here is the test. So if we take test, then you see what I've changed. The cinnamon thing is is quite ugly. And the only thing is to for you to read and say, okay, what is this first line? Here it starts, conky text. First, give me an image. That's this thing. And then this execution here. He is going to execute something and figure out, hey, on what system am I? So help him and just type out Linux B, save, go down, and then this line is changed and it's not overwrite, overwriting uh, the logo. That's something we changed as well. <clears throat> uh, the plank, we installed the plank, right? So first off, we launched it. Then we said, hey, uh, next time it's not going to auto start. So auto start. We went to startup applications and Plank is in here. What we did is say, look, we have a custom command like AM Conky Session or something, that's a command. Or you have an application, that's Plank. Just type it, click, add, and that's it. So it's quite easy to get an application to start up. You know what the drill is in the end, in the back end, we have the config out to start and blank is going to be in here so now there are two just one is enough and that's okay so we have um, set that as well I went into some of the settings I'm not sure which ones I changed the backgrounds we're playing with those as well the effects with the drop down we can have and the customize we can have so we can customize everything or say I'm following one of the effect styles, which is more or less the same thing, but then a customization of the software engineer. We looked at fonts, made it a little bit bigger, was maybe too big, so put it back to 11. Um, there are some elements we can install here. We can show icons on menus, no icons. Icons, I like it better without icons. Accessibility, we went into desk lids, but then things became ugly. But it's, um, well, it becomes ugly in Cinnamon as well. I mean, the actual Linux Mint Cinnamon in the past, have not tried it recently, but it's um, it all depends on the developers. So we have extensions and this is extensions, desk lids, and it all depends what the developer wrote in on for what version of cinnamon etc so this is really just well uh, at your own risk it will work or it will fail simple as that it will freeze up your system i've shown you how to unfreeze your system in that video in a right mouse click on the panel you get something and you have troubleshoot and you can say restart cinnamon if you restart cinnamon that's that's really a good thing it means up and everything is back um, well hopefully free there's also another application another tip i've added is xkill and xkill is quite interesting to have a uh, skull and bones and everything you touch like this terminal is then killed and you see all these effects i suppose i changed something yep it's fancy style i was not used to all these um, strange <laughs> slides and, and effects startup windows we went into that but i think this this was already set because i want to have toggle maximize we did not go in here i think but this also might also be something nice you check this out cover flow timeline you know uh, how it goes this is the cover flow might remind you of some other operating system that you rather not have but that's entirely up to you so that's windows windows styling um no i don't think we went into this one workspaces we took a look but i don't think we changed anything uh, bluetooth color we went into display now i've um i've taken this one so you know i have a dual screen took a mirror display so we can record on one screen for the video mm -hmm. went into sound as well 
taking a look at all the inputs. Firewall login. I think basically that's that. Uh, we went into variety, yeah, to take an, a wallpaper. Um, so this one is, is the one active. At the meantime, the lots of other things that came in. These are all wallpapers I never had to look for. It's morning, maybe a coffee would do. Anyway, so it's as simple as that. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. We went in here, the sound settings as well in the video. Took a look here. This one, system settings, maybe switch user, but then the recording stops. Uh, variety, PAMAC is up to date. I think we did an, also a control T, so an update. And then that's that. If nothing is installed in your ETC scale, you do not need to run scale. We can go do it anyway. I mean, then nothing changed, right? So update and scale and PKSYUA. And if anything from AOR is needs an update, then it gets in. Thinking really hard, but I think that this is more or less it. So the desk, let's do them at your own risk. Open as root is not working here. So what we do is go to not Nemo, we go to the one next to it, Thunar. And if you really want to go inside here and have a open folder as root thingy, then you can do so. Remember, the line is there, warning, you are using the root account, you may harm your system. Sometimes it is quite handy to have it around if you know what you're doing, it doesn't matter. So we can do it like that. And um, basically, I think we can round up the video. So this is Arc Linux B, a new creation, new packages, uh, touchscreen, activated video drivers, it's uh, the same setup as the others that we have already created minimal desktops from, or four. All right, enjoy. So this is not recorded with simple screen recorder. It's done with a extension, and it is now finished. 70 minutes. Cheers.